Hello everyone. So today in this very brief video, what we're going to be doing are talking and walking through how to do your hands-on learning labs. A couple of things before you get started with your labs is one, you want to make sure that you're using the right um, web browser. So the platform will not work with Internet Explorer, so you can only use Google Chrome, Safari, or Firefox as your web browser when you're logging into the lab. Um, the next thing that I want you to be mindful of is that some of these labs are really, really long. So make sure that you plan your time accordingly so that you can finish the labs in a a timely manner. All right, so we're going to go ahead and look at the hands-on lab. Um, I've already logged in. I have already clicked the lab that I want to do, or actually I haven't clicked the lab I wanted to do. So I've already logged in and I've clicked my class. So now I'm going to go to getting started. And I've already kind of played with this a couple of times. So a lot of these answers are going to be in there and some of them may be incorrect. So like I just kind of quickly filled some answers in that you would be reading this and answering them appropriately reading and answering appropriately and if you get clicked out of it just click back on to test your knowledge um it's a very sensitive platform i believe this is um super super sensitive so um you would read all of this you would answer your questions or question and click next submit and then it should pop you over to every time you hit next and read the information um, right seamlessly into the next step. So more questions than I will have answered. And I say next. And now it takes me over to experimentation. I look at my materials list, what I will need. And I go to this portion of it for this procedure. When I'm looking for my data table, it's going to be right down here. So this will be where my data table is. And so if I went to fill this out. Now, once you input information into your data table and it's saved, you cannot go back. And we're going to go with so let's save as information and then I can click that down to get out of the data table um, for data table 2 I just click on data table 2 and then it'll ask me for the formula so H Subscript to O H subscript to O subscript to. So it has all of these different formulas that you can use, and if you want to put parentheses on here of something, you you could do that. Um, but you probably won't need all of that. And you can even go back if you didn't need all of that. All right, and then I'm going to just go over to panel three and just type this science is cool. Exclamation point, because I like exclamation points. If you know me, I'm a gal who loves her exclamation points. Photo, upload an image. So um, you would have read through the lab to see what the photo is specifically asking for. I believe it's like your name and your date just to make sure you know how to upload things. Um, I would go to upload image here and I'm going to find an image of something that I want to upload. Probably will not. Oh, Brad Pitt, you can never go wrong when you upload an image of Brad Pitt. And there he is in all his gloriousness. All right, um, so now that I've done all of those things, I've uploaded my photo, all of that business. Um, I've answered my questions there. I will hit next. And then it has this whole evaluation business. And this is where I'll have the opportunity to download my lab report. Of course, I would be reading all of this. I would answer the question um, and then 
I would read this closer to your work. You will not be able to change your answers in the experiment session once you click submit your data below. Your final report displays your answers and data you recorded throughout the lessons. And it is this final report that gets submitted as your lab report. And remember, this is not only true for AMP1, which is the class I'm in now, but it's also true for AMP2. So I would check my answers, go through that, da 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 da, and then I would click submit. Double check your work so you have an opportunity to get out of here. You can still access that content, but you if you don't haven't answered all of the questions, you may not be able to go to the next lab. So there's that point. And if you have not answered the questions correctly, you may not be able to go on to the next lab. So it might not unlock those those subsequent labs for you. So they give you two chances to make sure that you check your work. So I'm going to go ahead and say submit data download my PDF. This PDF that gets downloaded, this is actually the lab report that you are going to um, submit to me. So I click download PDF again so that it can populate down here on the bottom of my screen somewhere. And my computer is a little slow today. And already has everything done. So it's got your name, it's got the date that you've done it, your student ID, what your answers are, everything that you've uploaded, all of that stuff is going to be there. And then from that point on, you have completed all aspects of it. And as you complete the lab in succession, you should be able to open up everything else. So shoot me an email if you have any questions on anything we just covered. Bye for now.